Hi, my name is Teresa. I'm a student here at Iowa State, and I'm going to show you how to sign up for a housing contract. The first thing you're going to do is go to housing.iastate.edu and find the housing portal login button in the top right corner of the website. It should take you to a login page, so you can find the student login button, and it will ask you to sign in with your Iowa State username and password. This is going to be the first part of your Iowa State email and the password you set up for that. Once you are logged in, it will take you to the home page of the housing portal. Then you should find the on-campus housing contract on the top bar. You can scroll down and find the academic year or the spring only or the summer contract that you're wanting to apply for. Once you open the contract, it will take you to the first page, which is just filling out your personal information. Um, your first and last name should already be added to the contract. You can add a preferred name, alternate email, and a cell phone. These are all optional. Changing your gender identity is also optional. We will take what the university has already. Family housing is for students who are bringing a dependent or a family member to live on campus with them. If you are a single student, do not click this box. If you are needing medical accommodations, you can click this box right here and just make sure that you also talk to the Student Accessibility Services Office. If you're needing athlete housing, you can select this drop down. We allow two spots for information release. Um, these are um, people like family members that you trust or adults that you trust that you're okay with letting our office give away your information about the housing contract too. This is different from the admissions information release. Once you're done with the contract holder information, the next page will be the terms and um, conditions of the contract. Please make sure that you click on this link and read all the terms and conditions listed on the website. Um, you also make sure that you read this page and understand that you are signing a legally binding contract. Once you've read everything, you can sign down here with your student ID number. So the first two pages of the contract um, you should be signing and we will go based off of that day to give you an assignment. The next pages are optional and you can complete them at any time. The first one is going to be adding a roommate request. To do that, you need to click down here on this link that says search for roommates by details. And to search for another student, you should only be using the email search features um, and then use their Iowa State email only. It won't work if you try to use anything else. You also do need to make sure that the other student that you're trying to pull into a roommate group already has a signed housing contract for the same academic year. This is a three-step process. So the first step, you will have to go and request the student that you're wanting to live with. Then that student will have to go into their housing contract and accept the request. And finally, you again will need to go into your housing contract one more time to verify the roommate group. Once you have the request outgoing to the other student, this is what the page would look like. And you will come back to this page to verify the roommate group. The next step is going to be learning communities. Any learning communities that you are eligible for and that still have spots in them will show up here. If you do not see a learning community, it is because you are not eligible for that learning community or it is full. Um, you can contact our office if you believe that there has been a mistake. The last step is room preferences. We do allow students to add up to 12 preferences and we do recommend that you use all of those spaces. To add a preference, use the drop down menu and add any building that you would like to. They are separated by um, buildings and types of rooms. 
Once you have filled everything out, hit save and continue. And it will take you to a final page. Again, you can go back into any of the roommate requests, learning community preferences, or room preferences tabs at any time and change information or add information or delete information. Uh, we will try our best to get you into your top preferences. However, it is not always possible. Um, we also will try to give you your roommate request, but we will look at the learning community preference before looking at the roommate request. If you hit save and continue on this page, it will take you back to the homepage.